And hi again, everybody. I'm Doug Miles, along with Ed Schneider. We are here at uh, Sarasota High School, Irick Field, as we uh, just saw an exciting uh, 1B District semifinal playoff game between the Glades Bay Gators and the ODA Thunder, and it was all Glades Bay, particularly in the second half, as they go on to a 48-20 uh, to 20 win, and they will advance to the state uh, championship game next Friday afternoon. They will take on Warner Christian at the uh, Citrus Bowl in Orlando, Florida. But, uh, Ed, uh, the first half, uh, pretty competitive. But uh, the story of the game was uh, Kelvin Taylor. Kelvin Taylor, we read a lot about him, uh, freshman sensation, son of uh, NFLer Fred Taylor. And uh, he uh, tr proved to be the true workhorse that we thought he would be. Unofficially, 45 carries, 366 yards. Wow. Uh, that's quite a, a job. And he had 342 the, of those yards after the third quarter. So Five touchdowns. Five touchdowns. Uh, and uh, he was everything that uh, we heard about and then some. Uh, but really the difference uh, after a, a great first half where the Thunder were able to hang in there, down only 21-20 at halftime on the strength of uh, two scores off turnovers, uh, really the difference was the defense of Glades Day in the second half. Held the Thunder without a first down the entire second half, uh, and uh, the Thunder was uh, constantly being uh, held deep in their own territory, punting out, uh, of their 10, 15 yard line. Uh, they were into the win in the third quarter uh, and that created a lot of short punts as well. They gave some short fields uh, to Glades Day and ultimately they were able to wear down the uh, Thunder defense that was on the field way too much in the second half. Led to th uh, four second half touchdowns uh, for Glades Day. Uh, and actually somebody other than uh, Calvin Taylor got into the scoring column. Rashad and, Burney. Rashad Burney, uh, only a sophomore himself, uh, had a couple nice uh, runs as well, uh, but uh, that really was the difference. They they wore down the uh, defense uh, of the Thunder uh, and kept the offense uh, from uh, gaining any yardage, any first downs in the second half, uh, and that's how you end up with a 48-20 uh, win for Glades Day as they go on to the state championship. End of a, a great season for the Thunder. Uh, they made it to the Final Four in only their fourth season, uh, but it fell away short here tonight as we uh, uh, feared it might. Uh, and uh, Glaze, they did live up to everything that we had read about them. A.J. Strong for ODA had a good game, over 100 yards tonight and uh, two touchdowns, but as you said, uh, just the second half, just too much uh, firepower for the Gators as a lot of the ODA players, uh, being a small school, had to play both offense and defense. And uh, rainy conditions tonight, although that didn't seem to affect it too badly. There was a couple of slips on the field, but uh, right now the rain uh, very heavy, as uh, anybody in the Sarasota area knows. Uh, but uh, it was a good ball game tonight, pretty well played. And congratulations again to uh, Pete Walker, the head coach of the Glades Bay Gators, again going to the uh, championship game next Friday afternoon against Warner Christian. And congratulations to Brett Timmons of ODA, uh, taking his team to an 11-2 and record uh, this year. We don't know quite yet where we're going to be next Friday night, depending on what the Manatee uh, Hurricanes do. They will have a home playoff game next week if they do win their game. As we record this, they were winning. We don't know the final score yet, but uh, keep uh, keep checking our website, DougMilesMedia.com. We will let you know. If we're not uh, at Manatee for a uh, football playoff game, we'll be doing a Sarasota Sailors basketball game, uh, which will be next Friday night uh, here at Sarasota against uh, Venice High School. But, Ed? Uh, and, Doug, and I think one thing to mention, too, Manatee, if, if they do host next week, it'll be uh, probably uh, number one uh, ranked team in the country, St. Thomas Aquinas. Mm -hmm. uh, they played, the, I think, Pompano Ely. Uh, tonight, uh, and the winner of that game will travel over here to Bradenton uh, uh, next week if Manatee is able to come away with a win. Manatee was leading 21-7 at halftime. Don't know what the final uh, outcome of that game is, uh, but that would be uh, a lot of uh, publicity here uh, in the town of Bradenton uh, if uh, St. Thomas Aquinas is making the trip here uh, in their uh, attempt to get back to the uh, state championship game once more. Where Bill O'Reilly once taught high school. And I didn't know that. <laughs> a little trivia for you folks out there. But uh, we'd like to thank you all for tuning in tonight on our multiple websites. And uh, please stay tuned as we will continue uh, the post-game shows as we have with the basketball broadcast. Our next basketball broadcast will be this Tuesday, uh, December 8th, as we'll have Sarasota taking on Booker High School, a 7.30 start at DougMilesMedia.com and at uh, the Herald Tribune. A dot com sports page as well. For Ed Schneider, I would like to thank you all for watching the final score once again. Glades Day 48, ODA 20. Thanks for watching. Good night, everybody. Good night.